So all right guys, welcome to the vlog. My name is Mr. E.T. and today we'll look at how good the Stance Enhance Kit is from ECS Tuning. I haven't seen a lot of reviews on this kit online, so I thought I'd make one today. I've had the ECS Tuning Stance Enhance Kit on the car for just about a year or so. This will actually be a long-term review of, of how that's been for me. Uh, just about uh, 15,000 kilometers, a little under 10,000 miles total. Uh, so we'll actually go over how, uh, how it's aged. So some of you are gonna ask what the Stance Enhance Kit is. So basically it's two front spacers, two rear spacers, some lug bolts for the front and the rear wheels that are longer than the stock ones because of course you're using spacers and VW racing springs. So the goal of this kit is basically just to lower the car about an inch and an, I believe it's 1.1 inches and to get the stock wheels to sit flush or close to flush with the side of the fender. I would say doing something like that to your car is basically giving it that kind of OEM plus look. So it still looks like a stock GTI and to most people they won't even see the difference. But for those that actually know the car a little bit more and, and visually uh, can, can set them apart, you'll find that the car is a little bit lower and the stance looks a little bit different. As far as drivability, uh, a lot of people are wondering once they install lowering springs if that's going to negatively impact their ride quality. I'm pretty happy to report that for me it's had almost no effect. I actually like the way this car rides from the factory and I didn't want to have something that was going to ride quite a bit stiffer. I've had much stiffer cars in the past. I've had race cars with really, really stiff suspensions and I didn't want to do that for my everyday daily driver. So here's a little clip of some of the suspension travel in the front so you can see what that looks like. So as you can see, it's actually not bad. There's still uh, some decent ground clearance. It's still fairly soft with regards to compliance. It doesn't rub, there's no issues whatsoever, even over big bumps, potholes, anything that you would be worried it would scrape or you would get some rubbing from the inner fender or something like that. That is a non-issue with this kit. So it's basically a straight bolt-on. I have had absolutely zero vibration from the spacers. They're good quality. The bolts work fine. They're the right length. I'm not having any uh, under-threading issues. One of the advantages of having this kit on the car is, of course, the actual handling of the car. So because you're pushing out the wheels slightly, to the outer edge on each corner and because you're dropping the car just a little bit the car actually handles even better than it does stock. I haven't found that this kit actually makes the stock tires wear any dif differently than they would. Um, I haven't seen any other negative impacts. I haven't had any issues with the front scraping going off my driveway and that's at an angle. I haven't had any issues 
going over speed bumps. As far as the springs themselves, they do take about four to five hours to install. You do need a spring compressor, which I have. Unfortunately, I wasn't filming YouTube videos when I actually installed that on my car, so I don't have any footage of it, but it's pretty straightforward to install. I actually looked at the shopdat.com video of how to install that. Uh, it does recommend a couple specialty tools, but I was able to get around that with everything I have at home. And uh, the springs themselves have not creaked. I haven't had any uh, banging sounds or anything like that, going over bumps. And Lord knows we do get a lot of bumpy roads in, in Quebec with uh, freezing and unfreezing of the roads. And as we're driving here, uh, you can see just from the GoPro the, the type of footage. It's it's not any worse than stock. It's it's a fairly comfortable car. It was fairly comfortable from the factory. Now, I don't know if you add 19-inch wheels to that and 35 sidewall profile tires, if you're gonna keep that sort of comfortable ride quality, but on the stock 18-inch wheels, on the stock tires, it's still pretty comfortable. So overall, been pretty happy with the purchase. As far as them aging, I would say the only issue I have had up to this point, the spacers look fine. I've put some anti-seize between the surface of the, the back of the wheel and the front of the rotor, uh, just so nothing rusts. And, and it seems that the powder coating that is on the spacers still looks pretty good after a year of use. Uh, the bolts that are black that come with the kit, those have actually rusted quite a bit. Uh, they're still usable. I haven't had any issues with threads. They're not any harder to turn than they were, um, but they visually uh, look quite a bit crappier than they did when they were brand new. The springs themselves uh, still look pretty good. They're still blue. Um, yes, they get dirty with time, but I haven't found that they have rusted on me in the last year, so that's pretty good. The material that they put around the actual metal spring hasn't uh, flaked off. I'm sure it will over time, uh, but um, it's it's been fine up to this point. Have the springs sagged or have they settled over time? So I'm going to put up some pictures side by side of what the car looked like last year when I first installed the springs and the stance and hands kit. I'm going to put up the same picture today so we can see if there's been any sag on the suspension, but I would expect that it's fairly similar to what it was last year. I haven't visually been able to see any real differences. So this has been my review of the Stance Enhance kit on my 2015 GTI. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them. Leave a thumbs up if you like this video, this content, and please do subscribe to my channel. This is Mr. ET, and stay tuned for our next video.